what is up youtube welcome back to a brand new video and if you're new to the channel welcome back to our channel my name is Leonela and my name is Caesar. and for today's video we're gonna take you guys on day three here in our trip to Colombia so quick update uh, we were on our way to another town and it was about four hours uh, trip and we had to stop halfway in another small town to spend the night so we spend the night right here just you know a bathroom and a room it was really cheap, only 50,000 pesos, which that's like, no, I know $10 is like 34,000. So it was like a 20, 20, yeah, right. 25 bucks for the night, which is not bad, right. you know. Let's round it up to 20. So we had stopped the night because it was really dark and we couldn't see driving at night. And also because of the quarantine period. So you can be outside between 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. After 8 p.m., nobody can be out there yeah so that's another reason why we have to stop halfway but we are almost there uh it's right now about 7 a.m which is really early we're gonna try to get on the road right now just eat something real quick and i think now we're halfway so maybe like two hours or yeah, two, two hours, hours and a half to get there and if you haven't seen last uh, video that video was in the other town that we went to it was really dope go check it out i'm gonna put it right here it's called uh Watape, colombia and we went to like a really big rock we climbed all the way up there and we also got really nice footage for you guys. And I also got water because of the piedra, because of the uh, we rock. All, yeah, we did. Because after, after we climbed the rock, we also walk around. So I didn't realize that my face was like this until we get here. Yeah, I think if you guys are coming here, make sure that you bring some uh, yeah. screen protector <laughs> because up? the sun is brutal. Look at his nose and his ears I know. are skin. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my face got all that way. Yeah, and it hurts. But I don't know if it was because of the rock or because of walking around the town. So we just wanted to give you guys an update. And we will catch you guys on the road. And we will let you know when we get to the other town. Should Please. we tell them? No, no, yeah. When we get there, we tell them. Okay. <laughs> so we got something to show you guys this is on our way to where we going this is not where we going this is on our way yeah. to that spot where we going we and it's stopped really to take a quick picture because it's a really nice place it's like a a fall Una cascada. yeah five more minutes yeah. but we stopped to get breakfast real quick and look at the view you like the view yeah <laughs> look what he did look what he ordered and look mine so we almost there we almost we had 45 minutes and something else you want to say? No, nope, that's it. So, yeah. What you have to say so far? So far, it's good. Everything is good. The food is good. And the weather is kind of 
bipolar. Like sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot, and then it, it starts raining. I don't know. But yeah. Now we're just gonna eat breakfast and then we'll probably get there in 45 minutes. is Doradal Puerto Triunfo. The reason that we came here is because um, there's something called Santorini Colombiano. It's like Santorini from Greece. It's really similar to that one and that's why we want to take a chance and came here. Also, Hacienda Napolis is near, like it's like from 10 minutes from here, but we're not going because they are closed until Monday because of COVID and the pandemic and things like that. Yeah, so the plan was to go to the uh, Hacienda Napolis, but it's closed because of the quarantine until next Monday. And we're not gonna be here by next Monday. But our plan was to go there. Yeah, so cause, so we came here because of it's Santorini Colombiana as our, and as I already explained to you guys. So we also have the plan to go to Hacienda Napolis because it was really close from here. But then all of our plans got canceled. We have yeah. to like so we have to like one. switch. Yeah, we have to like right. basically switch plans now. But you know, nevertheless, it's pretty you know cool. I like it. It looks similar. It looks really close to. I mean, I ne we never been to Santorini, like the actual Santorini, but it looks really yeah. similar. I mean, to and it. this is where we're staying tonight. This is the hotel where we're staying tonight, and really similar to Santorini of Greece. Yeah, so basically right now it's one something and check-in is at three so we're gonna have to wait and then we're gonna go so in the meantime before checking we're gonna have we're gonna be doing an activity that is called Valineras in Spanish that's basically so it's basically on the railroad but we're gonna show you guys when we get there we just we can't explain it because it's first time it's the first time for us so we're gonna show you when we get there so they're gonna take us like around the town and they give us a tour about it and talk about it, the city and the things yeah. around it. And also that end point is a river. That you can get in if you want, but yeah. Oh, and this is a pool, guys. Okay. Y si pasa el tren, nos tiramos nosotros también.
eso no se ve por allá. Se pegó. ¿Cuáles son las precauciones? Esto es como. Eso, como dicen, a la mano de Dios. The first stop that we're gonna go and see, I think some totals. And then we go back to the hotel and do the check-in. No, then she's scared, guys. Let me not interrupt her. She gotta concentrate. This is crazy. Really beautiful, though. Tenemos la, la sección de los morrocos. Aquí tenemos los chelonoides carbonarios. Eh, Ángel, ¿nos vas a sacar a Pancha? Bueno. Eh, ¿Cómo es si no es Panchita es una, una chelonoides carbonaria. Que ya si no muerde, las de tierra esta, no muerde. Esta no muerde. Sí. Busque, busque a Rupe. Rupe. Está allá en toda la esquina. Mira. Y este se llama Rupe, ese es el macho alfa de acá de la... De, de, de esta sección. Muerde. Es un macho. Él tampoco muerde. Mire, él es el, el señor de acá, el abuelo. Tiene amputada una piernita. Mm, sí. ¿Y ese alrededor de cuántos años tiene ese? Este tiene un promedio de 60. ¡Wow! Ajá. ¿Ese? Sí. sí. Mire, el macho en esta especie, el macho es cóncavo el plastrón. Mm. El Ahí es donde le mete. Sí, ella es donde él copula sobre la hembra. ¿Cómo se llama? Pongámosle allá a los muchachos. No, no, nosotros no queremos. Ni que sean todos. Pancha de la cara. Voy trae. Un saludo muy especial. Les habla Isabel Romero Jerez del corregimiento Estación Cocornada del municipio de Puerto, de Puerto Triunfo. Eh, soy postulada para este lindo. Eh, obsequio de titanes caracol para lo cual les extiendo una cordial invitación para que nos apoyen con su voto eh, se va, este, este, este va a ser un logro muy grande y va a ganar las tortugas va a ganar el medio natural y vamos a ganar todos de corazón un saludo muy especial y espero el apoyo de todos ustedes hotel right here it's kind of famous if you guys plan to come to the Santorini Colombiano so
so it is kind of famous i think and we already took a look not all of it we still have one part missing that we want to see it with you guys but it doesn't look bad compared to the rest of the hotels that we have in spain your child was in there we got the munches you know prepared if you guys come to colombia make sure you guys taste aloha it's really good over here we have the bathroom we have toilet obviously the shower so i mean i'm pretty sure nobody wants to shower with hot water right yeah makes sense and this is the bed my, my jackets you have two cabinets is that cabinets that's how you call it yeah nice that it nice has a tv like you see in here, we have some, we have things to show you guys. In the last two hotels, it's just the bed and the bathroom. That's it. That's why we didn't share it with you guys. So basically, in the last two hotels that we stayed at, they didn't have uh, hot water, they didn't have AC, and they were obviously cheaper. We were trying to save money, so we, it was only like uh, fifty thousand pesos, which right. that's Guatape, really really cheap. Yeah, Guatape was a little bit more expensive, but you guys should know why. It's, it's tourists yeah so this one so fifty thousand pesos that's like really 25 cool. bucks yeah. something like that but then this one is 158,000 pesos when i put the conversion right here for the currency which is like more money uh also because it's really this thing over here is kind, it's getting kind of a lot of famous, attention lot yeah of attention mm -hmm. because of it it looks like santorini like greece santorini like, like the actual the real santorini so so that's why they say if you want to go to Santorini, come to Santorini Colombiano first and you guys could have an idea. So this is the last part that we haven't checked it out because we were waiting for you guys to see it all together. You ready? One. Like we don't have, we have no idea what the actual view we is. Yeah, we we're trying because we always get the bad views. Like if you are following our channel in the last few months, every time we get a room, we get like a really bad view. Yeah. But we, we could, because we're trying to be cheap, you know, we're trying to save money and travel and... But we also want to have like something luxury, right? Something. Yeah. Yeah. But well, let's see. Ready? Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. No way. I didn't expect this one. I thought it was going to be the street. Oh, we got a pool view. No way. Yo. Oh, no. Yeah. We did got the pool. So this is what we mean, you know, like it looks like Santorini, like the actual place from Europe in Greece. You have like the sand architecture and all that stuff. It has the white walls, the uh, light blue colors. It's pretty fancy. They have like the palm trees. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna show you guys actually during the day what it looks like when I start walking around. Also, guys. For the price of this hotel is actually pretty good because it also includes the uh, breakfast. At the other hotel, we pay like 50,000 pesos for one night, but then we have to uh, the next day pay for breakfast, which was around 50 also, 50 or depends on what you get, you know, depending on what you get. For us, it was like around 100 and some thousand pesos divided by four, that's about 25 each. So at the end of the day, you're also paying the same if you stay at a cheaper hotel, but then you have to pay breakfast the next day in the morning and you know things like that so i think for this specific uh, room and this price point and the view and the location i think that's the best that you can get here in santorini colombia i think guys we're gonna close the video here and also if you guys can see we are kind of burnt and that's from walking and i'm really white yeah that's from walking uh watape it was really sunny <laughs> so if you guys want to you know rinse on sunscreen or sun protector go ahead and do that also bring a lot of water yeah but anyways that was uh yesterday's video guys if you haven't watched it please go ahead and watch the video from yesterday we went to the uh what the pet town it was really dope we also climbed the rock the peñol and we did a lot of things so go ahead and check the video if you haven't and also click the like button and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos of us either traveling to uh, colombia or any other country or just you know our lifestyle yeah, we don't know what's the plan for the next video, but just stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below any ideas or any questions. If you guys have any questions, don't be shy.
Yeah, definitely. Ask us any question in the comment section below. Anything you want to ask, either, you know, what's the currency? How do we get here and things like that. Yeah, what's the best way to get here and, you know, things like that. But anyways, we catch you guys tomorrow and thank you for watching. Bye.